Mikel, hi, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, go. Okay, great. Um, look, I'm sure you're, you're disappointed, particularly um, given that Arsenal uh, were the holders. Did you have any, any complaints, though? No, I'm uh, very disappointed because uh, we wanted to continue the competition. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we had a dream to do it again like we did it last year, step by step. And uh, that dream today is it's over. And um, and as well disappointed the way we consider the goal in an area which uh, we know that we should we shouldn't be doing that and uh, give the lead to the opponent. Um, at the same time, I cannot fault uh, the effort of the players, how they try and how they improve throughout the game and and try to go for the goal in the second half the way we did it. Uh, but it wasn't enough because we consider a goal that uh, we shouldn't and we created the chances um, we didn't hit the target. So in terms of the goal that, that you conceded, well, what, I mean, OK, it was an own goal, but, but what are you un, particularly unhappy with? Yeah, with the start of the situation. Um, we know in, in which areas we have, what we have to do. We should not be doing that because you know that you can only get in trouble. And, um, and we did it and we paid the price for it. But no um, Aubameyang today, and I, I gather that the, there are personal reasons for that. Um, is he going to be okay for, for Tuesday though, or is it is it something that, that might take a little longer? I don't know. He needs to address that um, that issue. How see how it evolves, and uh, we here we have to support him, and he needs to take the time that is needed because that's a, a priority at the moment. And look, just finally for me, um, how close is Martin Odegaard to joining Arsenal? I don't know. Uh, obviously, we played today. Since last night, I don't have um, any news. Uh, probably I would get a few phone calls today and, and see where we are with, with every deal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dan King at the Sun. Hi, Mikel. Um, once you brought on um, Party and Lacazette and Saka, the, the, the game the game changed. You had a lot more pressure. Do you do you regret not playing a stronger lineup from the start? No, I think it was a, a very strong lineup because I have full belief in in my players and they deserve to play. They've done it uh, in many occasions and against the top opponents as well, and they've been playing. So this cannot be the the excuse. It's true that uh, throughout the game we improved and then uh, we got better in the second half. Um, and we had uh, more quality in what we tried to do, but um, the players that played deserved and they tried so hard for us. Do you, do you feel um, that some some of the players you brought in w weren't quite good enough in the first half when when Southampton, you know, controlled most of the game? No, I think we gave them control of the game uh, with a lot of unforced errors um, that we made ourselves. Um, but without them creating really any big chances. Um, but uh, it's things that we have to improve. It's part of uh, the way that we are evolving as a team to understand uh, which areas um, we have to exploit and which areas uh, we have to be giving the ball away we have to and, um, and be more secure in certain situations. And it's part of it. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Mark from Press Association. Hi, Mikel. Oh. Uh, Gabriel seemed to struggle a little bit today compared to earlier in the season. Is that just a bit of rustiness from not playing lately? Maybe he hasn't played uh, enough minutes in the last month or so since uh, he had the COVID. He had to stay at home. He hasn't trained uh, as much as uh, we would like to. But uh, it's a player that has done so well since uh, he's joined us. Um, and create yourself Southampton because they make it uh, really hard for you. It's uh, difficult to play against the type of strikers that uh, they have. They give you a real game and you have to be ready for that. Do uh, Arsenal supporters have the right to expect better performances from, from players like Willian and Pepe when they come into the side? Well, I don't know. They're entitled to, to ask for anything. Uh, what I'm saying is that they try to give their best. Uh, you could see how hard they try it, sometimes with more or less quality, but uh, the intention is there and the willingness is there. And, and this is what uh, we demand them to do. And after the decision-making, the final pass, the final goal, uh, the opportunities they have, it, um, 
is the end product and it's the, the hardest thing to Are you confident then that it's just, it's just a matter of time before it starts clicking for the boat? Well, I hope so, and uh, we're going to keep supporting them as much as we possibly can as a coaching staff um, and as a club because uh, that's what they need, and uh, they need to keep working harder and, and try to improve their performances. Yep. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Rob Draper, down on Sunday. Hi, Mikel. Um, on a similar theme, does today's performance tell you that you have a first 11 that performs quite well, but you don't quite have the depth of squad? at the moment performing at the same level? Well, I cannot complain with the squad that I have, with the players that I have. Um, we are here and disappointed the way we lost the game and the way we lost the, the way we gave them the goal. Um, and then in the opponent's box, uh, when we had the chances, we didn't hit the targets. And then like that, obviously in this competition uh, against these opponents, um, you are out, but I don't want to put any individual there. They all give their best and, and they will keep trying to do that and, and we are here to support them and, and try to improve them. And, and can I just ask on Martin Odegaard, is there a danger that it will um, get in the way of development of Emil Smith-Rowe or do you see the two of them developing and playing in the same team? I cannot talk about any player that is not us. We, are, we have a very clear idea of how we want to develop our players and, and what they need to do that. And all the decision we make is just to reinforce that development and, and try to give them the best, uh, the best possible chance. Thank you. Thank you. Dan Matthews. Hi, Mikael. Can you hear me? Yeah. I just on on a on the theme of, of William and Pepe, I just wondered to see with the performances of, of Emil Smith Rowe and potential of, of Odegaard coming in and, and Bakaya Saka, you talked before the game about not wanting to get into the same